Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. In today's quick video, we're gonna be looking at Groove Video, specifically the free Groove Videos account inside of Groove Funnels. Of course, if you don't have a free Groove Funnels account, link in the description, go ahead, click that, and follow along. So we're gonna go inside of Groove Video right here. And then once you get inside of Groove Video, you're gonna see here on the home screen, there's some analytic information here, and then you're gonna move down to Videos. As you can see, you can add 15 videos before you have to upgrade to Pro. Also, when you upgrade to Pro, you get 100 gigabytes of storage and encoding. But with the free membership, what you have to do is you have to set up encoders as well as storage. And that storage and encoding is configured under integrations, as you see here. And under storage, you have S3 integration. And if you don't have an Amazon S3 account, you can easily go sign up for an Amazon AWS account and you get 12 months of free tier access. Of course, that includes EC2. In this case, we're looking at Amazon S3 though. And to find out the full details about the free account, you can check out the link here when you go to sign up your free account. But the basic idea is you get five gigabytes of free Amazon S3 storage, which is the storage that we're gonna be using under this integration. So to set that up, you simply just click on add new S3 integration and you're going to need to name your integration as well as enter your key, your secret key and the region, which is where the files are going to be stored, the storage location of your Amazon S3 account. So for naming your integration, you're just going to call that something that means something to you. So in this case, we're just going to call this 30mm free groove. S3, and here we're gonna set up our key, our secret key, and our region. So if to do this, I'm going to go into side of my Amazon AWS account and show you how to set up this user and to get this information to create this integration. So when you log into your AWS management console, you're going to see all your services right here in this drop-down menu. And under all your services, what you're interested in is your storage service. That is where your files are actually going to be stored in this case, your videos, but the thing that you need to set up to configure for your keys is called IAM. Under Security, Identity, and Compliance, you're going to click IAM. That's going to manage access to all your AWS resources. So when you click on that, you're going to say, see the screen, welcome to Identity and Access Management. And under this, what you need to do is you need to follow along and set up groups, users, and roles. So first, we're going to set up a group and we're going to create a new group, and that group is going to be Groove Video. In this case, we're going to say Next Step. Here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go with Amazon S3 Full Access, because I'm not sure of the exact access that it needs currently, that being Groove Video. They haven't released that information, but this will allow you to set this up and test it. And then at a later date, you can come back and make sure that you're only allowing access that you need to S3 via this integration. But in this case, testing, so we'll just go ahead and allow Amazon S3 full access. And if you don't see that, you can come up here to the search bar and you can just type in S3 and that will filter it out and you can see all the things that you could do inside of S3. So we'll go ahead and select Amazon S3 full access and go to the next step. Here you just review the following information and then you go ahead and click create group. Now we have a Groove video group, but you can see there are no users. So next in line is setting up a user. So in this case, what we're gonna do is just go ahead to the blue button and click add user. Username is going to be 30mm Groove. Of course, name this as you need to name it, something that makes sense to you. And then you're going to have down here, select how these users will access AWS. Access keys and auto-generated passwords are provided in the last step. Here you're going to need the programmatic access, which enables an access key and a secret key for AWS. So go ahead, select that, and go to Next Permissions. And in this case, we're going to select that group that we created, and it's going to be Groove Video, which is our Amazon S3 full access. We'll move on to Next Tags. In this case, this is optional, so we're gonna skip that and go to next review. Here you're going to review the details, our username, our AWS access type, as well as permission boundaries, 
which in this case they are not set so we're going to go ahead and create that user and now we have that user with our access key right here so we're going to copy that key and we're going to go back to group video here we're going to put that key here then we're going to go back to IM management we're going to show our secret key and then we're going to copy that into the buffer go back to groove enter our secret key go back to IM management and in this case you need to figure out where your S3 storage is set up the easiest way that I found to do this is just to look in the URL at the top and when you logged in you can see your region right here which is US East 1 in my case. Yours will be different depending on your location in the world. So go ahead and just copy that region right there. Everything between the equal sign and the pound sign or the hashtag depending on what you call it. So US East 1 will be what we're going to put in that field when we go back to Groove Video. Go back to Groove Video, enter our region that we copied from that URL. Go ahead and select Create. Here you can see that created 30mm Groove Video S3. There is currently an issue where I cannot delete the other one that I had created. So what I'm going to do and what you should do too as a beta tester is you should file this as a bug. If you can't find a bug in the bug database for something that you see that is wrong, go ahead and click down here under Groove Funnels is currently in beta. Click on Report Bugs. That will take you over to this roadmap. And here you can find out more information about all the Groove products as well as Groove Video and you can also file your Groove Video bugs here as we are all beta testers trying and working together to build a community around Groove to build and make this product the best it can be. So with that, back to Groove Video and the integrations with S3 and the encoders. So again, here we are under integrations, we're under storage, we have set up our 30mm Groove Video with our key and our secret key and our storage location. So now we need to set up our encoder. To set up the encoder, you simply come under here, pick whether you want coconut.co or encoding.com. I went ahead and went with coconut.co, and all you need here is an integration name, which would just be your integration name right here, and then the API key, and the API key is found at your coconut.co free account, and I'll show you that right now. So when you go to coconut.co, you select your free account, and then when you log in, you'll see jobs, tools, API, and support. Simply just click on API. Under your API key, you'll see it right here. You just copy that, and you go back, and you just add that API key, hit create. That will generate your coconut.co encoder right here that you'll select when you upload your video. So there you have your coconut.co encoder, as well as your S3 Amazon storage. Now we'll go back to videos and actually upload a video and add it into our Groove Videos videos selection. So here you go. Go up here, click Add Video. Video name, test, two, three, four, five, six. Video description will be the same. Of course, make this something so you understand and know what it is. Go ahead and click Create. Here you'll see your name and your description. Here you're going to select the storage that we just created which is 30mm Free Groove S3. Then we will select our file here. We can either select the folder or have it create a new folder. And in this case, we'll just go ahead and create the same folder name as the video name. Click Create. Under Encoder, we'll select 30mm Gary, which is the encoder I set up earlier. We'll upload a video. Here you just click here anywhere in this screen or you could drag and drop. Then you just find a video. For example, we're going to use this video right here because it's only 50 meg. So it's nice and small, easy to upload. And then once you've selected your video, the key here is to actually click this button that says upload video or it will never upload your video. Your video will upload. You'll get a check mark. It'll start working over here to encode your video. While it's doing that, we'll move on to display. Responsive or fixed, we'll go with responsive. Under settings, you have some settings here. You can add splash images, logo watermarks, show controls, mute on start. You can change the skin color. You can set autoplay on load. You can show overlay title. Of course, you can create the title right there. I covered these settings and how to do these settings inside as well as the skins in a, another video where I showed you a live look inside and that's up here in the right hand corner. So go ahead, click on that card and watch that video. 
to see the full details of all the settings here. And as you can see on the screen, the video has processed after the upload, so we'll go ahead and select OK. Again, video in the cards, also link in the description to watch the video where I go through all these controls, as well as the call to action here. We currently don't have any CTA. We're not going to put a CTA. Again, that's covered in that video where I walk through all these options. End action, just end the video, or you can loop the video, and you simply select save and exit. Then at that point, you have your video test 23456, and you grab your embedded code, and you can see exactly again where and how to use that embedded code in that other video in the cards or in a link in the description. But now if you go back to your AWS account, what you'll see is the folder that was created during the upload of the video, and the folder was test 23456. And inside our AWS Management Console, we're going to go down to Storage, S3. Then when you get inside your storage, you'll see here this video was created today, August 10th. Or this folder was created today, August 10th. Click on that. Inside that, you're going to see the folder, Test 23456, that we created when we added our video. And inside of that, you'll see the Groove video that is now being played via the Groove video player. Again, inside of Groove Video when we embed that video on a page. So that's how to set up Groove Video with Amazon S3 and your encoder, so your storage and your encoding inside your integrations. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content just like the videos here. Click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.